All right, now we have a spinal cord. This is a cross section of a cervical vertebra. This is posterior. This is anterior. This is the spinal cord. Spinal cord, we use the term dorsal and ventral. So this is the ventral area, this is the dorsal area. These red things here are the vertebral arteries. In the cervical spine, there is holes for the vertebral artery on the base, on the side of the bodies, and they're called the transverse foramen. Vertebral column in the next section. One of the structures that I like the most, sort of, is this big yellow bulge right here. And this big yellow bulge is the dorsal root ganglion. If I see that, I know a few things. First of all, I know what is dorsal, which means posterior, and what is ventral. Because guess what? The dorsal root ganglion will feed into the dorsal part of the spinal cord. The dorsal root ganglion is also a ganglion, and ganglion is a collection of cell bodies outside of the central nervous system. So I know there is cell bodies in here, and these are all sensory cell bodies. I know a few more things. I know that the dorsal root ganglion, or in short, DRG, is um, associated with sensory information. So that tells me that the dorsal part of the spinal cord has mainly to do with sensory information. So the dorsal part of the spinal cord has mostly to do with sensory information. The dorsal root is this piece here coming out of the spine or going into the spine until it hits the dorsal root ganglion and that is a sensory root. So the dorsal root is sensory. The ventral root on the other hand is analogous to the, in the front and that is a motor root. So that's not sensory but that's motor in terms of what it does. So the, the ventral part of the spinal cord is, is motor, the dorsal part of the spinal cord is sensory. The DRG, the dorsal root ganglion, is a sensory ganglion. We have a couple of horns here in the gray matter. This is the gray matter of the spinal cord. And that we have a dorsal horn right here, and we have a ventral horn right here. We're not going to talk about the lateral horn in this class. Then when these two nerves come together out in this section here, right here in this area, we call them the spinal nerves. And so, and then spinal nerves are mixed nerves. That means they both have sensory and motor information in them. And after the spinal nerve travels a little bit, it goes and it forms a ventral ramus and a dorsal ramus. And the dorsal ramus and the ventral ramus, they are both mixed nerve. It just depends where in the body do they go from that point forward. So the dorsal goes to the back, the ventral goes to the front. Looking on to the spinal cord right here. So we have ribs on the side. What I'm looking at here are a few structures. This little tip right in here is known as the conus medullaris. And that's the end point of the spinal cord. And that happens around lumbar, second lumbar vertebra. And then we got, after that, we don't have a spinal cord anymore, but we have a lot of the spinal nerves, or all the spinal nerves that still need to come out, they travel inferior down, and they form sort of what the anatomists used to think of as a horse's tail. So they called it the cauda equina. The spinal cord has pia mater right around it, and when the spinal cord finishes, the pia mater comes together and goes as one little phylum, they call it, and it anchors into the coccyx, and they call that the phylum terminale. You cannot see that on here specifically, except following the conus medullaris down, and then that's the one that's the phylum terminale. On a freshly caught specimen, you can see the reflection of the light will be much different.